Evan? Oh, fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jesus. We are talking about the horror movie, Head Count. Now this one, I would say, you can talk about the same conversation as It Follows, as it has a very similar theme to It Follows, but also a sprinkling of paranoia from the Thing movie. This one is uh, directed by Ellie Callahan as her first feature directorial gig, and it's also co-written by her, and she has had a, quite a long uh, history in doing kind of like behind the scenes stuff with various movies, including things, things like the Avengers and stuff. So, but this is her first movie as a director, at least feature length. And although this movie doesn't have any any particular kind of recognisable stars here, I think that the the star of this movie is the concepts. So it's similar in a way to it follows like I've mentioned. So what we have here, we have this group of young adults slash teens, I can never really turn this in, in films like this to be how old they're supposed to be. So we'll call them 20 somethings because that's what they look like. Initially it starts off with these two brothers who are somewhat estranged, although that's not particularly well developed. And the younger brother meets this kind of group of people when they're out um, looking at the desert somewhere. And he decides he fancies one of the girls and kind of wants to hook up with them. So he ditches his older brother and goes back with this kind of group of people so he can hook up with this particular girl. In the meantime, he kind of he manages to sort of somehow unleash this kind of paranormal curse by reciting this particular kind of horror story, a bit like kind of Candyman, say the words three times and all that sort of thing. So a bit like that. So it ha we have now this kind of like paranormal entity that's thrown into the fray, and what it does is it kind of imitates um, people in the group. So there are some very good scenes, for example, where we'll have. The camera will pan around, and it's some fairly strong directorial choices here, I will say. So we have this camera, camera panning around, and we'll kind of see the people in the group, and then someone from who we've just seen sitting down will appear in the doorway behind. So we have this kind of like entity which is kind of replicating, uh, or at least in, you know, in, in basically pretending to be someone in the group. So it's a case of we don't know who to trust, we don't know who's really the uh, um, the person or the kind of like the you know, the, who's really the creature. So that was, that was, uh, some, there's some neat effects here. There are a couple of kind of quite fun jump scares. And also I, I quite like some of the shots here where we have, you know, something just out of focus or someone just out of focus and then they'll kind of do like a, you know, the typical kind of Hollywood neck crack and the, the music kind of goes with it to kind of make it go, ooh. So that was, uh, that was kind of quite fun. As, as a British person, I don't know, it just, there's always so much drug use in these movies. It's like everyone does drugs. So I actually appreciate that there's at least one character that doesn't do it in this movie because I always think like, I, I, you know, it doesn't seem to be like that in the UK. I know, I know it's like uh, maybe a little bit different in California, but I always think everyone's so like just does, does drugs like so much here, and it's actually nice to see a character go, no, I don't want to do the, do drugs. Which I think it's quite actually a, a nice change in one of these. Anyway, a little bit of a sidebar there. The acting isn't so bad, I think they're from the, the whole cast, some of them are a little bit underwritten which we'll come on to, but I didn't think the acting was uh, was too bad here at all. And the concept isn't bad, I think there is, there is a good idea here, but I do not feel it is executed in the best way. Now, if, I'm, if we look at the movie It Follows, because it's a very similar movie to me, um, this kind of like, you know, this invisible killer that is, can look like someone else and you never really know where they are. Uh, Similar concepts in a way to It Follows, but here's the difference. With It Follows, you have a very clear understanding about what this creature can do, um, and what its limitations are, and um, ultimately what you need to do to kind of get away and, and try and survive it. With this movie, you have none of that. Um, so I feel this movie has this kind of creature which can seemingly do whatever it wants um, where the script desires it. It doesn't make it clear, can this, can this creature do multiple people at once? It seemingly can control people at different times. It seems to be kind of darting around and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have a kind of clear set of things that it can and can't do. So therefore it, it seems a little bit of a kind of like, um, deus ex machina to a certain degree, where it just does whatever the kind of the scripts want, wants it to do. 
um, and then it becomes it doesn't become quite as as, as uh, memorable. The other thing is with me again to kind of compare this to it follows. With it follows, you had clear characters. You had you knew who the characters were. Um, they had distinct personalities, and you could know who they were. Here, you only really know Evan, his girlfriend, and maybe the blonde girl, who's her kind of like best friend. Everyone else is completely no characterization whatsoever, and completely replaceable. I'm like, uh, you know, I kind of kind of dare you to watch this movie and describe one of the other characters outside of those three, because there's that there's just no characterization. So they are. You never really think of them as, as people. They're complete cannon fodder. You know they're the ones going to get picked off the uh, the first. And uh, I think maybe there was too many in the group. Um, I mean, there's this whole thing where, you know, it needs five people for what we don't, we don't really know. It doesn't, it never, the movie never really kind of, like, gives us an idea about what the motivation to this thing actually is. Uh, what it's trying to accomplish, we just don't know. Uh, and, you know, and it just kind of, like... Yeah, so there's a lot kind of just left up in the air of this movie, and the movie does not have to handhold you the whole way through films. But I feel, as a viewer, you've got to be able to kind of be able to piece things together. If it doesn't do that, and with this movie, it, you know that it doesn't allow you to do that. So it just kind of has loads of unanswered questions, but it does not give you enough information to piece it together. So there is the, that's the problem. Um, Effects-wise, it's relatively light on effects. Um, the, you do see a glimpse of the monster, and I've got to say it's a little bit disappointing. I would have actually not had that at all. Uh, if, you know, it, it kind of looks like um, quite a B-movie monster when it comes down to it. And um, I've got to say, I think the the actual camera work and all of that is actually quite strong. So when you're watching this, you, don't, you do feel like you have relatively high production value and some definite confidence behind the camera here. Uh, but when we get to the, kind of the monster shots and also the morphing shots, I mean, this is not the 1990s people. Uh, morphing technology is not the best thing to use for a special effects now. Um, yeah, that, that kind of really undercuts, I feel, some of the production value. It, it's, there's not in it much, but I would literally just cut out maybe the, the 10 seconds where it does that, and I feel it would be a better movie because of it. The ending, however, is really weak. It's a really weak ending. Um, obviously, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but disappointingly weak ending. So this movie has some strong direction in regards to some of the camera work, the framing. Uh, certainly, kind of, I like the kind of the juxtaposition between the kind of the, our day scenes and our kind of night scenes. It makes a good visual contrast. I don't think the acting is too bad. Some of the characters are woefully underwritten, but the acting isn't too bad. Um, and it has a good central idea, but it needs to be fleshed out a little more. I feel. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of time wasted with this movie as well, I feel. It could have, there could have been a bit more done in regards to fleshing out maybe some of the mythology. That's maybe where I would have gone with it. But I, but I feel it, it's kind of uh, um, not a terrible film, but you just, you just feel like you, you're missing a lot to it. So overall, I'll give it a kind of a 5 out of 10. And I'll give it props for doing, you know, it's not particularly original because it's, it's so similar to, like, it follows and maybe elements of the thing without the kind of like the creature feature stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's original enough to, to kind of maybe warrant a lot, but it's just, it feels like it's not a well-rounded film and not something that has had uh, enough of a kind of like a, a rewrite and stuff like that. So we'll give it a five out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.